<laughs> Wait, I'm getting a call. It's David. Hello? Yeah, no, I'm busy right now, but can I call you back in a minute? <laughs> okay, bye. Hey guys, I'm Natalie and I'm going to spill it. I actually just got this bag probably two weeks ago, but I'm always switching out my bags. My bag is always kind of my statement piece of my outfit, so with this, it's very loud leopard pink. That's kind of been my vibe lately, because I feel like I've been in home all the time and just in these comfy, like mundane clothing, so my purse is kind of that, ooh, what is that? I always keep my bag super unorganized. I'm always on the go, running around, and like in this crazy, hectic chaos, so there is just all thrown in there. I have no idea what's in there at all times, but I hope everything is in there. All right, I'm ready to spill it. <laughs> so my number one most key essential item, and I feel like this goes for most people these days, is my phone with my charging case. My background is actually the Keith Ledger and Julia Stiles from 10 Things I Hate About You. It's my favorite movie and I've had it on there forever. Second most important item is my wallet. Even though this thing is pretty tiny, there are so many things in here. Right now I lost my license, so I've literally been using my college student ID and hoping that that gets me through. I have my AMC Stubbs card, RIP movie theaters, my Godiva Chocolate Rewards card because that's super necessary. Sarku Japan club card. Um, David is obsessed with disgusting mall foods, so I always have like these different membership club cards for when I have to go grab them lunch and things like that. But yeah, it's just kind of some fun things I have in here. Next, I have my most recent essentials, which is my mask and a little bit of hand sanitizer. We're always on the go, gotta make sure you're staying clean and safe. The next thing I have is very assistant-like. I always have my little mini emergency kit. Everything you could possibly imagine. There's a little file board, there's gummies. So anytime I need a little anything, I got a mini version in this little kit. I used to be super insecure about my teeth before I got braces, so now I'm like super anal about my teeth and my smile and my lips and all that stuff. So I always have a pack of gum. It's always extra spearmint. That is my favorite. My lip balms, I have like so many. My favorite, favorite lip balm is the Summer Fridays. Goopy, smells like, smells so good. It smells like buttery vanilla goodness. And for my go-to chapstick, I have this Burt's Bees pomegranate. I've been using this probably since, I wanna say the seventh grade, sometimes, sometime in middle school. And then I have my whitening pen, just in case. Before I got here, I was like, whiten my teeth. And last but not least, I have this Limp Plumping lip gloss. I need that extra voluminous lips. I got it right here. Of course, my parking garage ticket. I need to throw this out, but I haven't yet, so there it is. My next essential would be my makeup. This is my makeup I've been wearing for, I don't even know how many years, but I've always been wearing it, and I love it. It's just a powder, like if I ever get oily or just need to like whoosh, clear off anything, this is my go-to. Anybody that knows who I am, my friends, family, whomever, they know that I am like snack queen. Literally all my friends call me the snack queen. And I always, always, always keep a bag of snacks. And usually I don't keep it in a baggie. I usually just bring the whole box of crackers um, and take it with me. But for the sake of today, I didn't want to embarrass myself. So I just put them in a little baggie. Always have my nut thins on me. And I usually keep a little sweet chocolate treat. Um, so I just throw a little snicker bar in here. But yeah, always, always, always snacking. <laughs> Uh, next essential item is my keys. Super lucky, my boss, David Dobrik, got me two cars for my birthday, <laughs> which is really crazy to say, but he did. He got me this Mercedes, it's my first car. My second car was this Ford Bronco, it was for my birthday, and he knew that the Ford Bronco in blue was my dream car, and um, yeah, so now I have my dream car. I'm like 23 and I have my dream car, it's the craziest thing. Always got a little cash money in there, why not? Recently, I've been using this scent. I'm not even sure what it's called, but it's from Free People. It literally smells like coconut, like sunscreen. So I think it's like the perfect summer scent because who doesn't love to smell like some sunscreen? <laughs> These are like my little essential oil. Like I just put them on for de-stressing. This is from This Works and it's the Stress Check Breathe In. So just dab a little bit. It smells like lavender. All my stress and worries go away. And then this one from Cloud9 is the same thing. It has a little bit of CBD in there and smells amazing. It's really good for you, so love that.
I always have scrunchies on me. I'm not wearing a scrunchie today, which is so not me, but I usually always, always, always have at least two scrunchies, one that's a bright color and one that's like a natural black, white, whatever. Somebody gave this to me. This is, I have this picture on my Instagram and they printed it out on a little Instax. And it's so cute. This is my foster dog that I fostered at the beginning of quarantine back in probably April. So sweet and I miss her. She just came over for the day the other day and she is all grown up. It's like having a little baby and then just like, so she's so cute. But yeah, this is my little picture of her and I think she's the sweetest little angel, so. Next is my favorite lipstick from Laura Mercier. It's actually, the Bayesian Time. This color is very much my natural skin lip tone, so I love it and it's my go-to. Okay, I'm getting down to the last couple of things, but my next thing I have in my bag is my disposable camera. This has like become quite the little essential. Just wind it up and snap a little bit. I think it's just so fun and cute and nostalgic to like capture memories on film. Love my disposable camera. And my last item in my bag is probably my most favorite item and I'm usually wearing it but I didn't today so I usually just if, I don't, if I'm not wearing it I keep it in my bag but my little sister she loves making these little like loom bracelets and she made me this one that says Lore Hearts Nat so Lore, her name's Lauren and I usually wear it every day but um, she makes them for all my friends too my friends are like that's so cute and she's like okay and she actually made one and mailed it to my friend which I thought was so funny but yeah it's super cute and I love it and it's just like a little memento to remember her all the time so yeah but that's it that's everything in my bag it's all empty Aside from everything in the bag, I also have things outside of the bag. I have my little voting pin because it is election year, so everybody should be voting, and it's super important. No matter who you're voting for, you should be voting. And then there's this little thing, which looks a little ratty and gross right now. David is doing his dodgeball show on Discovery called Dodgeball Thunderdome, and every day we're on set, we have to have a new little name tag, so mine, this one has just kind of stuck there for a little bit. It's a little memory of the show. It's a lot of fun to film, so. Make sure you go watch. <laughs>